Hello and welcome to GPTV on Wednesday the 12th of March. My name's Philip Kingston. And I'm Gary Peer. And Gary, bit of a change this week. It's Wednesday. We're filming on a Wednesday, not on a Tuesday. Why would that be? Long weekend, the Labor Day weekend, the Moomba weekend in Melbourne just passed. Change is as good as a holiday, Phil. Did you enjoy the Moomba weekend, I the long weekend? I had a spectacular. Get I was some in the, time off? I was in the Birdman Rally, actually. I just went right off the edge, Phil. Got a few gulps of that Yarra water. It was terrific. Yep, fantastic. That's and not really true, but no, I did not. watch it a little bit. Have you so, ever been in the Birdman or thought about I've it? I've never been in the Birdman. Neither have I thought about it. <laughs> okay. Neither will I think about <laughs> it from this moment on. So let's get down to real estate. Very quiet weekend in Melbourne, yep. Gary. Not much happening. Uh, the usual number of auctions in Melbourne. 800 to 1,000, over 1,000 this weekend, but yep. over the long weekend, dropped to around 300. There's nothing, there's nothing in it. There's no You're point Not even about. worth talking You're about. You're wasting the viewers' time. And we didn't have anything on the long weekend, so no. there's nothing to review at Gary Pure and Associates. So this will be an interesting addition yep. as we make things up on the spot to fill the time. No, we've got plenty of things to talk about, Phil. That's not true because we have our interview with Judy Zhao. This week we speak Mandarin, Phil. We Because do. we have got a very, very exciting interview and the Asian influence is significant in and about the area, Phil. Uh, we've had a lot of sales to a lot of people from Asia, and of course, one of those notable sales was a property that we sold uh, not, not that long ago in Octavia Street, Philip, in Caulfield North, and where did the buyer find it? On GPTV, and where was the buyer, Phil? To, you've got to love this. The man is Malaysian, and he lives and owns a rubber plantation somewhere yes. in the depths of the Malaysian jungle, yep. uh, but he tunes into GPTV every week. And so if you are watching, yes. we send a wonderful, happy cheerio to you yes. in con- Malaysia. And congratulations on your purchase. So it, GPTV is worldwide, so let's, but more importantly, Philip, the Asian influence, let's talk so a bit about let's it. Let's talk about the Asian yep. influence, Gary, because everybody seems to think that the Asian influence is really a change. Chinese influence. And there's no question that China is now making its its economic muscle felt in Australia. A yep. uh, huge amount right across Australia is being bought by the yep. new affluent middle and upper middle class socioeconomic yes. levels we're talking about in China. Yes. Uh, but uh, the Asian influence, uh, we're seeing buyers from Korea, we're seeing buyers from Thailand, we're seeing buyers Penang. from Vietnam. Yep. So uh, it's Everywhere. not just all about China, even though uh, if we broke it down into dollar terms, uh, the greatest Asian countries purchasing power is coming from China. And as a result of that, Gary, uh, as leaders in marketing and real estate, we have put on a Mandarin-speaking, Chinese-born, wonderful saleswoman by the name of Judy Zhao, who we look forward to interviewing in a moment. Well, uh, part yeah. of the one, chi- one child policy too. I said to her the other day, how many brothers and sisters have, she, have you got? And she just looked at me like I was crazy. That's it. Uh, It's fascinating, culturally fascinating to have her on board. It is, and she's an absolutely delightful lady. So without any further ado, I think we should switch over to our interview last week. We did run out of time. Uh, After that, we're going to be reviewing this weekend's auctions. But first, let's cross over now to Judy Zhao. So great to have you on GPTV, Judy. And uh, I think the viewers are going to be fascinated to hear a little bit about your life, because I know I find it fascinating. Uh, The viewers will be interested to know that you came out as a 15-year-old, and you're originally from Inner Mongolia. Yes, part of China. Wow, which is amazing. Tell me, um, what's the weather in in Inner Mongolia? Winter, how cold is it in winter? Minus 20, 30, snowing, it's pure white. It's absolutely beautiful, but I don't enjoy cold so much. (laughs) Minus 20 degrees you must yeah. be loving our summer and how hot does it get in summer uh 20 30 depends um usually we we'll have 40 degrees right. so yeah okay quite a nice in summer but absolutely disaster in freezing winter. freezing out <laughs> outside of the weather report let's yeah. talk a bit about your history here <laughs> sure. because you've been here since you've been 15 years old yes. and uh, and tell us a bit about what you've done since then uh, I came to Australia because my parents decided it's a better education here. So yep. they sent me here without knowing anything. They haven't been here like whole life or anything, but yep. it's just a very bold choice. And uh, yeah, I've been, went, I went to year 10, 11, 12. Which school were you at? Oh, I was in Brisbane. Oh, okay. So yeah, I was in Brisbane then decided, you know, here has a better university, Melbourne, and yep. uh, it's most livable city in the earth. <laughs> so I moved to here. Okay. And uh, yes, seven years ago, I think. And you went okay. to Melbourne University and got a, which degree did you get? A uh, commerce degree. Fantastic, okay. fantastic. Wonderful. Well, she's smarter than we are. That's well, well so. you know, it's, it's, it's so. good to <laughs> see that we're sitting between somebody that has a university education <laughs> as opposed to Gary and I, who dropped out of university within about 15 minutes the of average I, The average IQ now of us has all been lifted. It's just, been, it's just <laughs> been raised. So it's interesting, your parents, and this we're seeing a lot of Chinese people sending their children to school in Australia. Yes. Um, would a lot of your friends in a similar in 
similar situation? Yes, but they came here a little bit older, so right. yeah, not only 15, something 18, 20, something yeah. like this. Yeah. 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 And we were speaking before on camera, I said to you, how many brothers and sisters do you have? And you said... I'm the only child. The only child. And that's all obviously part of the One China policy, which one I child. believe the One Child China policy. Is that right? Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So we, we, we had Judy out as a bit of a cadetship last year, and it was very interesting because we had an auction in very, very prestigious address in Caulfield North, and we had some party that was interested, uh, who were uh, Mandarin speaking, and uh, of course, Judy, in her inimitable fashion, because she's not shy, Judy, uh, <laughs> just walked, shy. Straight, very shy, walked straight up to shy. them and worked out, you know, within a minute what their level of interest was, and I think that, that advantage of breaking down the barriers is fantastic for us, but how has it been for you being in real estate so far? Oh, it's very challenging, but yeah. I absolutely love it, you know, yeah. just, uh, I couldn't think anything else, so... I love this more than accounting and finance and everything else. <laughs> Very yeah, good. Fantastic. And we're seeing a lot of, we're obviously seeing a lot of Asian buyers here and they're relating well to you because they can see somebody that can, can help talk communicate and yes. talk to them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, are you seeing a lot of buyers performing and buying in the market now and, 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 and purchasing? Yes, absolutely. Yep. There's yep. A heaps of Asian buyers. They came to here because the lifestyle, the education, it just simply, you know, the better place to be. Yes. So it's, um, it, we see a lot of yeah, things happening yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, so quite common. Well, it's certainly a very exciting edge that we have. And of course, it's wonderful to have you as part of our team. Thank you. And uh, other than the fact that Judy is, of course, a great asset because of her ability to break down barriers and speak uh, in terms of a language that we're very not, not very good at at all, but we're learning. We're yeah, learning a little bit. Yeah. Um, it's, it's just very uh, easy language to learn. <laughs> and outside of that, Judy's very, very hardworking and very excited and, uh, and doing an amazing job. Oh, so thank we're, you. We're, we're enjoying having you here. Yes. That's for sure as part of our team. So Judy, you've decided to join us and work with Darren Krongold and Sally Zellman, yes. who are very experienced. And I know yes. you and Sally have got a fantastic relationship yes. going. Yes, How's it, how is it going for you with those guys? What can you tell um, me about? Well, I, I couldn't think of I can be a better hand. They're very, yeah. they're very how do I say it? Uh, they're very good with me, they're patient with me, no pressure, and they yes. teach me. So all the way here. It's very exciting learning experience, and uh, I couldn't ask for more. And what are you, what are the next couple of years ahead of you? What are you looking at? What's going to be your future in the next few years, well, anyway? Well, I hope to help all the people come from overseas. It's very painful trans transaction, so I'm hoping I can, you know, just help them to go through it because I've been there, I've done that, I absolutely understand. So yeah. I'm hoping I can help them to make these things happen less painful. Yeah. Yes. Well, we may well have to set up an office in Shanghai. Oh, so yeah. I think you're, I think you're yeah. going there, aren't you? I, I'm, I think I'm going to yeah. a conference in Shanghai at the end of April. Yeah. So uh, you'll have to give me some pointers as to what to do, what not to do. Yeah. Uh, but it's actually going to be a fascinating experience, this yes. whole having you on board, Judy, because uh, whilst our percentage of sales to... Uh, Asians that are coming in from offshore is not high. Yeah. We can see clearly that it's going to gather momentum and it's just great to have Judy on board. So yep. good luck. We love having you around and thanks for coming on GPTV Thank today. You very much. Thank you, Ju. We're all a bit crazy and the place we're, we're in, our office, it just goes 100 miles an hour and we're all, we're all sort of manic, but you're part of that manic. You've embraced it and you've <laughs> certainly embraced us too. Thank so you. thank you for joining our firm. We look forward to many happy years together with you. Uh, so, Judy Zhao, what more can we say? Well, that's it from Judy Zhao, and what a great part of our team. Is she going to become Philip? Great really to have her on board. Yeah, and welcome. We look forward to seeing your real estate career blossom under our banner. And she's going to be working very closely with Sally, Darren, Aliza, yep. and Daniel Fisher. So uh, that's uh, really a very powerful team. Now, speaking of powerful, Gary, let's talk about this incredible property where we are at the moment. Oh, I love bringing GPTV. Yep out on the road. A little uh, bit of rain coming, but I don't care, Phil, because I feel like I'm in a rainforest. I'm so relaxed here because there's a good feng shui here, Philip. Great feng shui, Gary, yes. because here we are at number 10 Wander Road in the heart of Caulfield North. We are on the north side of the street, which is the best orientation. This is the most stunning family home. It is. Uh, the owners have lived and loved this home. They updated it in recent years. Uh, the most gorgeous home, really, from the moment you arrive on the street, walk up that gorgeous Japanese-inspired front garden area into this home. Uh, many favourite spots to sit in this house. The kitchen meals area is fabulous, the yep. lounge dining room, but I think this north-facing courtyard garden is nothing short of stunning. It's just wonderful. And we're going to be auctioning it this weekend, Gary. We are, Phil. Sunday at 2.30. In fact, uh, often there's multiple auctions on at the same time, but not during this auction time, Phil. We've frozen this spot. I'm going to be here good, with you good. to see you do your stuff and 
absolutely welcome everybody to come down here at 10 Wanda Road of Beauty. But we've got many properties to review, Philip, and I think we should, as is our tradition on GPTV, review this weekend's auctions. There's about 20 of well, them. Well, we're going to have to run through it pretty quickly, suburbs. Gary. Let's go. So first up on Saturday, Gary, we've got apartment number six at 56 Carlisle Street, St Kilda. Great spot, a one bedroom, one bathroom, one car space. Going to be auctioned by Jeremy Rosen with, with a price range of two hundred and seventy to three hundred thousand dollars. That's a great entry into the market in a Very great hot spot. Very affordable, Phil. We move on to town residence or villa residence number one at four hundred and forty-six Hawthorne Road, Caulfield South. That is a single story, three bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage villa with a price range of six seventy. To 735 that's going to be auctioned by myself uh, and that's at, uh, at 10 30 or so at 11 30 gary jeremy rosens is doing a what will be a hot auction at number 171 yep. balaclava road caulfield north the most gorgeous single fronted period home three bedrooms one bathroom and off street car parking for two cars there it's been very popular phil uh, weren't we just out there? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Bit, of a, bit, bit of a set change. Started yeah. raining outside as it does in Melbourne in autumn. Gotta love Melbourne. So, eh? Yeah, exactly. Mo going. Moving on, Gary, to 401A North Road, Caulfield South. That's an auction that's going to take place at 11.30. Uh, three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, off-street car parking for two cars. That's a really good home as well. Now, Phil, as a 20-something year old, you used to live in Raglan Street, Caulfield North, if my memory serves me correctly. I did, Gary. Yep. So uh, we're going to be auctioning number one Raglan Street, Caulfield yes. North, which is the most glamorous three-bedroom, two-bathroom town residence. Uh, suffice to say, when I lived in Raglan Street, I lived in a one-bedroom apartment that was about, I don't know, a fifth the size of this property. This is a really gorgeous home. I really like this one, And Gary. they've cleaned the street up since you left, no doubt about well, it. Well, without, without question. 11.30 Raglan Street, Phil, you'll be conducting the auction there at 12.30, Adam Josky and co, him and Mr. Sir, he and Mr. Sir, are going to be auctioning an apartment in Gordon Street, Elsmead, the place where I lived for most of my life. Absolutely, so, Gary. Uh, what a great location that is. A what a great street. Right in the heart Values of Gordon Street. Values have definitely raised there since you left. As they have in Raglan Street with your absence, Phil. We are then shooting off to Griffith Street in Caulfield South. I've got the honours there. David Cutler has been handling this terrific town residence and certainly uh, presents beautifully. I think we're going to have some good interest in that one as well. We are then off at 12.30 to Porter Street. Simultaneously at 12.30, we've got four auctions at the same time, Phil. Wow. All happening. Porter Street, Paran. Uh, Daniel Reese has been handling that and wonderful what property. What a cool address that it's is. It's a very good address. What a cool looking place. And Jeremy Rosens will be having the auction honours there. You are just going to pop off to Bentley, Philip, to Tucker Road. Tell us about that one. 47A Tucker Road, what a stunning newish property that is. Five bedrooms, three bathrooms, car uh, lock-up garage for one and second car space. That's just a ripper of a house. I love that. Phil, does real estate get any more funky than this property that you're going to be auctioning at 130 in St Kilda? In the heart of it all, just near our St Kilda office, Phil, in Inkerman Street, that is apartment 12 at 915 Inkerman Street, St Kilda. How about this place? Gary, this is an amazing property and it's worth talking about because yep. this was one of the earliest new, uh, this was one of the earliest developments yep. of a conversion of an old warehouse. And yep. this was done by Neo Metro, who yep. are well known for changing urban landscapes. And this was a, this was a style and a pace setting development great building we're very similar ties today aren't we we do gary mine's a, a lot nicer you think so yeah. strathern avenue marambina is a quality address philip leor samuel is doing an auction over there He's have a look at this i've got to tell you he does so well in that whole uh, marambina carnegie orman mckinnon area he's absolutely just doing so well he loves it phil and at 3 30 you are bringing down saturday's curtain phil in alma road st kilda have a look at this terrific apartment this looks like a great opportunity not far away from the intersection there of st kilda road philip what a great location it's actually between st kilda road and Chapel Street, so you can walk either direction for some great facilities. This is beautifully renovated by the current owner. Two big bedrooms, a huge lounge dining room, kitchen meals area. That's a ripper. On Sunday at 10.30 a.m., Philip Kingston, you are going to be centre stage in Oron Crescent for this most wonderful town residence. We shot GPTV from there recently. Can I make a suggestion this place, to, to all of the viewers? Come along to this auction because this is uh, setting a new standard in this sort of real estate. So I, I want to again congratulate the builder owner there because he's done the most incredible job. 
not easy to find good land. Would you agree, Phil? Land, uh, as Mark Twain, the famous American novelist, said many years ago, Gary, invest in land. They're not, not making, making any more of it. 30 Kieron Street, Phil, right in the heart of Caulfield South. We have got a wonderful property over there, Phil. Uh, we are selling a property that is on a corner site, yep. and land is very hard to find there. 30 Kieron Street. We look forward to seeing you there. You are doing that auction at 11.30 a.m. At 12.30, Phil, I'm hopping over to... 113 Bamber Road, Caulfield. What a fantastic looking town residence this is, Phil. Tell us a bit about Gary, this Gary, that is an architect design property. John Molina was the architect there, and I had a look through these the other day, and they are nothing short of incredible. Incredible, luxurious, light, bright, with some strong architectural detail. Love that property, Gary. You get to auction some beautiful real estate on Sundays, Phil, and one of those properties is at 51 Alder Street in Caulfield South. Tell us a little bit about this. Very, impo very imposing house, great, yeah. Gary. Got some great street presence, four bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, uh, lock-up garage for two cars. Uh, really doesn't get any more stunning than that. 2.30, of course, we're back here, Philip, at number 10, Wanda Road in FNC, far north Caulfield. I love this part of Caulfield, and what a terrific home we look forward and to seeing And when you talk about this part of North Caulfield, Gary, you've got walking distance to the tram and Hawthorne Road, uh, the shops in Glenferry Road, the Malvern Railway Station, Caulfield Park, dynamic location. At 3.30, you'll be hopping over to Caulfield South, Philip, to Fernhill Road. What an amazing looking property this is. This is a real 70s sensation, Gary. Doesn't get any bigger and stronger than this house. Looking forward to that auction. At the end of a long weekend, Phil, nothing better than auctioning in Newington Grove in Caulfield North, just around the corner from the racecourse. This is a fantastic property. Been in the same family for many years. Yeah, it's a good house too, Gary. And uh, there it's a really good house and, and it's underpinned by a really good sized parcel of land. So should be good interest in that house. And Nikki Janova's involved with that one and looking forward to putting up the soul sticker as we are on all of our auctions this weekend. A big one ahead. We'll get a good feel for the market because there's a great variety of properties, isn't there? For mansions, big the flats, big weekend. everything in between. Big weekend for us, Gary, but a big no weekend for Melbourne real estate again because really we've got a few weeks now uh, of uninterrupted run before yes. the whole Easter and school holidays yep. in, in April uh, so uh, it's a great time to be out there selling and a good time to be buying because there are some good opportunities and some good offerings and we will be bringing them all to you on GPTV and we'll see you next week I'm Gary Pearce I'm Philip Kingston thanks again for watching bye now